Hi, so today we're going to be going over integrating OpenCV with Unreal Engine 4. Uh, there'll be a link to this website in the description so you can follow along with it if you desire. And what you're going to need, obviously Unreal Engine 4, OpenCV, and Visual Studio or another IDE of your choice. Um, so if you haven't already, download OpenCV and extract it to a location of your choice. And then either open up a new C++ Unreal project or open up the one you'd like to add OpenCV to. Um, if there isn't one already, you'll want to create a third-party OpenCV includes directory in your project folder. So I have right here my project folder and my OpenCV download location opened up already. So a third-party OpenCV includes and then we're going to want to move over a bunch of files from our OpenCV install into our Unreal project that we'd like to use. So first we'll grab the includes. Uh, so just build, include, and copy over this whole folder. And then next we need the library files. We'll go back and hit 64, grab the newer ones. And then we need files from both of these folders. So if we check here, we have the DLLs that we need. Those will be in the bin folder. And we just need this one and this one. And then over here, we also need a library file. We'll go back one, that's in the lib. And we copy over the library file. Now, if you read here, it says AND2 for the binaries. We, uh, we do need to copy these DLLs one more time. Hit copy. And then go back to your project's root folder, binaries, Win64, and copy the DLLs into that folder as well, which I already did earlier. So in my case, I'll just replace them. <laughs> So then, after you copy all the files over, you're, we're not quite ready to go into the project yet. Uh, that's just getting the files in. Head back to your project's root folder. Go back into third party, open CV, and includes. And then there's a little problem uh, with open CV and Unreal Engine trying to uh, work together they both have a check function declared uh, so that'll cause collision issues um, it's pretty easy to fix we'll go into the core here and then find the utilities Where'd it go? <laughs> utilities open that up and then as you can see with this part we could just comment out we got to find this if define check um, we'll be changing the function name in OpenCV, so this won't, this collision detection here won't be needed anymore. And that's usually near the start of the file. You can go right there. So get rid of that. You can use Control Find, and then we also want to actually find where this check function's been declared. find that. I definitely recommend using control F for that. And we're going to change the function so it's called VC underscore check. And that for the most part will fix the problem. This function actually isn't called in too many spots but it is called in at least one. I don't remember which file calls it but that's okay. Um, when we try to use it later we'll get an error and then it'll tell us where it is and we can fix it. So that's not going to be a huge problem. So for now, we'll just save that. Close. And for now, we're ready to um, start setting up our build file. So go to your project. 
root directory again. And then here, open up your solution file. Once that loads, you'll want to open up the build file. You'll want to open up your build file. So it should be located under source, your project name, and then find your project name .build .cs. Open that up. We want to add a few things to here. So if you look on the website, first we're going to need using system IO, just add that to the top. And then I like to add this open C B version. That way, if I want to update to a newer version of OpenCV, um, when it comes to changing the code in here, it's just a matter of changing that little number. And then we also want this useful third party path function, the main reason we need the system IO. And this will just make it more convenient to load in any third party libraries like our OpenCV library. And then we need one more function. This one's a bit bigger. This one actually loads the OpenCV library. So we'll go over what that does. So yeah, so this function's for actually loading the OpenCV library. Now we grab the path and our library path. And then we load the includes our libraries and those couple DLL files. Uh, from there we're almost done uh, getting this part ready. We just haven't actually called this load OpenCV function yet, so we'll take care of that. And we just pass in our target. And now we're ready to build. Now we should be able to build but if we try to use OpenCV in a class right now it'll error out because of that check collision issue so first we'll just make sure we don't have any typos missed any semicolons you know the drill and as long as that's all good then we'll make a class and add our OpenCV to it and that'll allow us to find where that other check function is. So yeah, the build succeeded, but we are not actually using the library yet. Uh, when we try to, we will get an error. So what we can quickly do is you can make a new class or really just take any class in your project and we'll try to actually use the library include OpenCV core HPP. Yeah, when we try to use the library, we'll get the error because there's that file that uses that evil check function. And just to make sure this is indeed. Yeah, so this is coming from OpenCV, so we just want to change this 
UCV underscore check. Save that. And there we go. So now, anywhere where OpenCV declares that check function, you'll want to add a little change there. But from here, we should be good to use OpenCV within our Unreal project. Yeah, anywhere that check function shows up, that will cause you some problems. You just follow it through the debugger to where they're, they're located, and just change them all, and you should be good to go. That's probably the biggest gotcha of trying to get OpenCV up and running. So from here, we've got our project, and we can start doing stuff with OpenCV, which maybe will be uh, next video. So if you'd like to see more Unreal Engine or OpenCV focused videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.